So the reason I think large companies are poor at innovating is multifaceted, shall we say. Um, I think that it's definitely often put in the too difficult box uh, by many. Um, and I have a phrase that I use with people uh, that talks about people and politics getting in the way of progress. Um, and often there are uh, agendas um, or uh, there are kind of departments, because let's face it, lots of organisations, as we've grown up in, in a world that is more command and control, have their own P&Ls and their own reasons for existing and their own bonus structures, um, people um, have, have a kind of concerted effort to try and stop new things coming through. Um, and depending on your kind of tenure with the company, depending on how many years you've got until potentially you retire, etc, etc, those things get in the way. Uh, so I think it's really important, therefore, that actually innovation is a cultural thing because it actually connects to the individual because otherwise the individual can get in the way of it. Um, I also think that a lot of companies are good at saying, I think we should innovate, and they do it on the corner, on the edge. Uh, most of the best examples are in kind of labs or kind of separate teams or we've invested over here. There are very, very few examples of that being taken back into the mainstream of a company because it's hard, right? I mean, I don't think that what happens in a kind of vacuum, whether whether it's a Google gives you 20% to go off and do this or um, HSBC brings first direct to the market, I don't think it's easy to take something that kind of can be created in a sandbox and then bring it back in unless you've got buy-in right from the top and you've got people that actually obsess about bringing it back to the centre of the organisation. Um, and innovation is not something that everybody has as a default in their DNA. Um, so organisations rarely identify the right people that will be the ambassadors and the people that will actually follow it through. And I think we kind of just do it a little bit by, oh, that person feels like they're the right type as opposed to using all the tools that exist today to actually identify it. I've put my team through um, some kind of fairly uh, kind of progressive training, which was doing some gamification to come out the other end and say, who are the most likely innovators within your team? Who are the catalysts for change? And who are the ones that are going to, even if they might be younger, are going to be the ones that are actually going to uh, tow the kind of fairly normal path. So um, those are kind of my key uh, insights around why big companies struggle to innovate.